Hey guys, Nick here. In this video, we're going to install our own WordPress virtual machine. To do this, we will be using a website called bitnami.com. They produce this virtual machine that makes it nice and easy for us to create our own WordPress website. So let's get started. So first thing you want to do is download VirtualBox. So I already downloaded it with my Windows host. Here's the Mac, Linux, Solaris. So Windows host, click on that. It will bring you right to the download. You go ahead and install it, get it set up. I already have it installed on my computer. So we'll go back to the Bitnami. So Bitnami Virtual Machines. They have a lot of other installers, cloud-based containers that you can use. For this one, we want to run it off of our VirtualBox. Down here, you'll see the default application login information, the WordPress login, and system account login, Bitnami. So the OBA format is, it's made with Debian 8. That's the um, version of Linux that uh, WordPress is running off of. But the OBA format is a compressed um, and exported file from uh, other virtual machines. So it's basically just compressed and once you uncompress it, it'll become larger and have the full operating system with WordPress on it. Click the download button. No thanks, just take it to the download. And it will start downloading for you. So based on your internet speed, it will be pretty quick. Mine's going at a very fast pace. We'll close out of this since I do have it installed already. All right, I'm sorry, I do have it downloaded. All right, so I have VirtualBox open here. We want to go to our downloads. Bitnami WordPress 4.9, double click. So bit name, Bitnami WordPress, we'll leave it as is. You can change it from here. CPU, you can even upgrade that from here. RAM is 700 megabytes. We wanna make this 1024, just give it a gig. We'll leave the network adapter and this is where the virtual image is gonna be stored. It is stored on my Synology NAS. We're gonna click import. This should take, like it says, under two minutes to import. Okay, finished. So, Bitnami, you can go to settings here. System, change any RAM or processor settings from this point, just by moving the bar here or typing in the number on the side. We'll leave it at one core, as it is only command line interface. It's not very intensive. Let's go down to network. That's what we want to see. So we want it to be a bridged adapter. That means that my local computer can connect and communicate with it. If you leave it on net, it will be on its own separate network um, that VirtualBox creates it. So bridged adapter. Click OK. We will click Start. Minimize that window for now. And here we are. So we'll go ahead and let this boot. So when this comes up, just leave it for about a minute. Bitnami application is being initialized. And here we are. This is our Bitnami login, Debian login. Tells you the login username and password. We will go ahead and log in. Type in the password provided, current password. So it wants us to change it. All right, choose a longer password. All right, let me make it longer. Perfect, that's all set. So from here, we want to figure out what our IP address is. To do that, you would type in IP address show, just like that. Click enter. It's going to show you the loopback address, which is a 127. But what we want is a little bit further below that. It is the 192.168.86.29. So that's the address that this virtual machine is getting. We'll go ahead and open up a new window. I'm just going to use an incognito window just for the heck of it. So we can type in 192.168.86.29. Oh, 
2.168.86.29. Enter. Give that just a brief moment. And here we are. So it shouldn't have taken that long. That was a little bit longer than I expected. It's usually very quick. Let's go ahead and open it up in another browser here. So back into Opera, let's try this again. All right, yep, there we go, that was much quicker. All right, so we'll close out of that, leave this open for now. We have this here. In order to log in to WordPress, you do forward slash wp.login login.php, enter. The username and password they provided earlier, that was that was the username and password, user and bitnami. So type in user, bitnami, enter. And there we go. So we're logged into WordPress. We now have free reign of WordPress. We can update it, add plugins, users, themes, you know, what have you. This is a great test environment. You can even use this as your own production website if you'd like to. So um, if you guys have any questions about this going further, please leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe and uh, enjoy your day.